All right, my friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to be talking about how women view our beards in terms of perception and attraction and what your chances at romantic endeavors might be, regardless of what kind of beards you might wear. Now, I know that there's been a lot of videos made about this, and you've probably seen them. I have, to some degree or another. I don't really care that much, but there is a reason why I'm talking about this. I've never actually weighed in on it myself and devoted a whole video to it. And if you peruse uh, social media like uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, all those, one of the questions that constantly pops up where beards are concerned is, do women actually like beards? Well, that's a hard question to answer because it's very involved. There's as many differing opinions where women are concerned as there are women. And, you know, you have to take different parts of the world, different cultures, and how they view beards into account. But for the most part, what we're going to be talking about here today would apply pretty much across the board, generally speaking. I guess that's what across the board means. But anyway, what spawns this is I found an article on Instagram on People Magazine. Now, I don't know how I ended up following them. Have you ever scrolled through Instagram and you, you keep finding these people? Usually they're famous people, right? Uh, not, not people that you wouldn't know that lives, live in, you know, Fresno, California or something. But this is, this is, I don't know why I picked that. <laughs> but anyway, I, I end up fo finding that I'm following all these celebrities I don't even like or I don't even know. And I'm like, how does that happen? But I don't object, I don't object to following People Magazine somehow or another. But that's where I found this article. But before I get into that, let me tell you what I have in my beard today. I am wearing Kill 'Em All Beard Company. Uh, their Peaches and Scream Beard Oil. There is, their, their products are horror themed, as you can imagine. Look at that, little, little Jason, right? Yeah, little Jason right there. Peaches and Scream. And this smells absolutely wonderful. It's a thinner kind of a beard oil. You might like that. And it smells like fresh cut peaches. I am not kidding. It smells so good. I mean, it is absolutely delightful. And I'm also wearing their Peaches and Scream beard balm. Man, really good stuff. You should go on to their site. I'll leave a link down below and check out everything they have. This is the only thing I have of theirs. Oh, I have their beard butter likewise, uh, but I put that in closer to the evening. Uh, sometimes I'll just use it in lieu of oil or balm. But um, yeah, Peaches and Scream, oh, it's, it says on their site that it's a fan favorite, and once you open it up, put your nose to it, you're gonna find out why it wears in the beard really well. And the scent stays with you pretty much all day long, as opposed to some others that you might, might stay in your beard for an hour or so. Um, great stuff. I'll leave a link down below. Use my code Greg Boswell. It'll, it'll save you 10% and um, just have fun with that. They have some apparel there likewise. So check them out. That's all I'll say about them now. I might devote a different video to them entirely, but, but I'm also going with a natural look today. I did not style my beard. I just uh, put oil in it, you know, ran a comb through up and down all around, filled it out, combed it down, combed it forward. And I just, you know, I'm kind of tired of styling the beard for a little bit. And, and I kind of like the way this has turned out. So that's what you see here is just a natural looking beard, you know, groomed of course, and, and manicured, but uh, you know, I, I, did, I did not style it. I did not use heat on it at all whatsoever. So that's what you're seeing. Okay, so uh, anyway, let's get back to the topic of today. Uh, the article that we find here in People Magazine, let me start recording this, which I've never done before. I've never done what I'm getting ready to do right now, recording uh, what I'm actually looking at so you can see it on your screen. Just trying this out, you know, throwing stuff up, up against the wall and seeing what sticks. All right, this, uh, this article says, men with beards may be more stable romantic partners, study says in it for keeps. Now, we've heard this before, right? We've heard this before, but I don't know which article you've read or who you've listened to talk about this, but we're going to go over this today and see if we agree, disagree, and what our thoughts might be. And that's why I want you to give me your, your input and leave a comment down below. <clears throat> so this is written by Kara Lynn Schultz. Kara is also my wife's name and spelled exactly the same way. And this was published just recently, excuse me, <clears throat> on July 16th, 2024. 
So it's a fairly new article. It's not, you know, it's not something that's passe yet. You know, we can't look at it and go, well, that was a couple of years ago. So it says here, um, facial hair may indicate someone's romantic goals and priorities, a study says. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is doing this. Okay, wondering if someone might make a good romantic par partner? You may need to look no further than their facial hair. I like this so far. Men with beards aren't necessarily out looking for a new partner, just keeping the one they have, according to a study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior, while clean-shaven men reported more mate-seeking motivation. Men have more facial hair reported less Men having more facial hair reported less mate-seeking motivation, but more mate retention and kin care motivation, reported the study, which looked at 414 men aged 18 to 40 and examined their facial hair enhancement motivations. So far, I agree with this. Um, if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to get back in the game. It, yes, it is very hot here. It's blazing hot and very bright. Uh, but... Um, if I was to go back out in the market right now and I wanted to, if I was just looking for a good time, one night stands, um, uh, friends with benefits, I would shave my face. I got a whole lot more female attention when I shaved my face. Now it hasn't entirely changed, but I'm just saying that it, it, there was a difference. There was a difference. Is that enough to make you want to shave your beard off? I hope not. I hope not. So listen to this because it does change the way women look at you. All right, the findings. Bearded men are in it for keeps, study co-author Professor Pete Jonasson from Warsaw's University of Cardinal Stefan Wazenski said, I hope so, according to the Times UK. They are less likely to have a, fa a fast life history strategy seeking numerous partners and instead tend to invest in others both romantically and familially. Jonathan said, per the outlet. I do agree with this, but there is a caveat, and I think they might touch upon this, but I'll get back to it if they don't, because I can't remember. I've really read this thing like once. The reasoning is based on the care required to maintain a well-groomed beard. So what they're saying here is that if you find a man with a beard, you're finding someone who is more in intent on settling down. Men with clean shaven faces are probably appealing to the majority of what women say they want. Uh, so we hear, correct? I mean, uh, there's there's some give and take there. But uh, they want to come across as young as possible. I say as young as possible. I mean, we're not talking about, pre, you know, we're not talking about teenager level here. We're just talking about, you know, like college level. Men want to, a lot of men want to stay that age because of, <laughs> because of, because of obvious things I don't really want to get into on this particular video. But uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to re retain some kind of vim or at least a perception of vim and vigor. And uh, that men who grow their beards out are, are probably in a place in their life where they're like, okay, I'm settling down now and uh, I want to uh, assume a more, more fatherly image, a more mature look. Now, I, I know I'm adding a lot to this article, but I'm filling in the gaps here. I know I keep scrolling up and down this. I forgot that I'm recording this. Where am I at? Okay, so they say the reasoning is based on the care required to maintain a well-groomed beard. Yes, it does, you know, and that's the important thing. Have a well-groomed beard. It does take some time. It does take an investment. And does it, you know, and I hope you make that if you have a, a beard. Beards as opposed to say stubble are difficult and time consuming to grow. Men with full beards may signal their disciplined nature. Jonathan said. Yes, that's true. And I've talked about in this channel before, depends on what you want to grow your beard out to. But even if you just want a three month beard, uh, which is a very nice looking length, uh, there's, there's a, a stage you go through where it's uncomfortable or at least for a short time, or it's unattractive because you've got to get to the place where you have something to cut back and, and groom and maintain. So it does take a level of discipline. You have to be able, you have to be willing to put up with the negative comments from women or other men or whoever, whoever you might have in your life, your mother-in-law <laughs> or your own mother. Uh, but, but yeah, it does take some discipline to get through it. Although maintaining a clean shaven face requires the effort of frequent facial hair removal, the study says, more facial hair requires more effort to keep it clean. Regular care of facial hair requires time, effort, and resources like, you know, beard products. 
And you have to have some, you have to learn some techniques for actually, you know, brushing, combing, styling your beard. So she, she is right here. Thus, facial hair enf enhancement motivation may be related to the desire to present oneself to other people as a resourceful and well-organized person. Yes, so I agree with this completely. She is right on target in, in my estimation. If you see a man with a well-groomed beard, you know that he's probably clean. He cares about his image. Some people might mistake it for vanity, but uh, you know that 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 accusation should not be leveled uh, or assumed automatically. But you can you can pretty much guess as the man who cares about perception, his image, about taking care of himself. He probably does it in er other areas of his life, and so that's important. And that's what women are picking up on it. Now you might say to yourself, well, I've heard that women don't like big beards. I would say uh, it really depends on their age and you can, you can change that. And I'll, I'll tell you a little more about that here in a second. The study stressed that facial hair maintenance was a key point as growing, as growing bushy, unhealthy looking or dispensed facial hair may discredit a man rather than give him an advantage. Correct. That is absolutely correct. Listen, the reason I think a lot of women having negative uh, viewpoint about beards is because there is a lot of men out there who do not take care of their beards. They don't trim it or they don't trim it right or they're getting bad trims or they're not trimming it at all. Uh, they're not using beard products. They, they let their beards look dry, unhealthy. Perhaps they have beard drift in their beard and uh, they need to be uh, open, open to using oils, balms, and butters. And if you can take some interest in learning how to maintain your beard, it's going to show. And if more men would do that, I think a lot of women would change their minds. I just had a woman the other day, well, I think it was last week sometime, I was cutting a woman off from non-payment. Or well, I didn't know it was a woman in the house, but I was cutting her house off for non-payment. And, uh, and so she came out and she was like, no, I paid my bill. Well, and to make a long story short, she was young. I say she was young compared to me, and everybody is now but she was probably in her early 30s. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be titillating here. I'm just saying, I'm trying to paint a picture here. And um, up to that point, it was all business and she was really nice. And I turned her back on and gave her a chance to pay the bill. And she, before she left, she goes, you have such a beautiful beard. And I said, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I don't get that a lot from women. Either they don't want to say anything about it or maybe they don't think that, but I appreciate it because I don't really get that that often. And I thought about that literally the rest of the day. It felt so good. But would she have said that about my beard if I was like, if I looked like a biker? If I, you know, and I'm not saying that about all bikers. I'm just saying, I'm just trying, you know, get that idea in your head. The guy who comes home uh, from working on the scaffolding all or in the mines all day, you know, a lot of guys walk around like that all the time. But if you have a beautiful beard, if you look like you take care of it, women are gonna think differently about it. Otherwise, if you don't, it's gonna be a discredit to you. So I love the way she put that. Uh, beards as camouflage was accounted for as a study pointed out that some men may grow beards to cover physical inadequacies. Well, I think beards actually accentuate a man's appearance, but I have seen some men who could actually benefit from a beard that are much better looking with it, but I don't know if that's because they've had it for so long when they finally do shave it off. It's such a shock visually that um, you might think initially, oh, that they don't look as good without it. But that's, I don't think that's necessarily true. I just think it's uh, alarming in some cases. But there are some men that uh, I look at and go, wow, man, you should really grow a beard. Not because you're ugly, but I think you just have the right shape, shape of face. I think you could actually look better. And um, yeah, and there are some men that when they shave their beard off, it makes them look older. A lot of times we think, oh, a beard is going to make a man look more mature. Well, it does in a good way. But what if it's grain like mine? They're going to say, well, it just makes you look older. Well, I, I tell you, I've seen some gray beards come off that made men look even older. Okay, so yeah, a beard is a good camouflage. Let's talk about, let's talk about face detection. <laughs> I heard that I heard that cameras that use face detection have a harder time picking up on a man's identity if he's wearing a beard, especially the bigger it is. Anyway, the authors claim the study is the first study on facial hair enhancement motivation in men and say further research is needed to examine the spectrum of facial hair types. As this one only examined the impact of clean shaven skin, light stubble, heavy stubble, and full beards. 
But overall, the study found that having more facial hair may be used by men to inform other people that their social motives shift from focusing on the mating market to focusing on long-term romantic relationships and family. Yeah, so I don't really, you know, I, I do know that the 10 millimeter beard, the week and a half beard uh, is considered the most attractive by women, but I would say generally guys, listen to this, as long, I don't care what size your beard is, make it look nice, use good products in it, make sure it's smelling good, make sure you're washing and conditioning it, get a good trim by a well-qualified barber, or learn how to do it yourself, watch my videos on how to trim your beard, and you'll do good. You'll do really, really good. Uh, but take care of that thing, make sure it shows, and it will change the way women think about your beard. And here they were saying that it, it show, it's showing women that we're ready, basically that we're ready to settle down, that we're the kind that you wanna keep. Now, there's, I, could, I could jet off into another direction with this conversation, but I will tell you that I would, when I see other men with beards, I think, I think they're more mature. Uh, I think that they're more settled down. And I think it gives them the, more of an appearance of strength and assurance and confidence. And I'm not saying that you can't look that way without a beard, but I'm saying a beard goes a long ways in, in helping you uh, create an image like that. So if you don't have a beard and you're thinking about this and you're wondering, well, I haven't grown one out because I, I just don't know if women would like it. Uh, I would say that I concur with this, uh, this woman that wrote this article. I do think she's right. I agree with pretty much everything here. Everything. Do you? Do you? And I think uh, you should, if you haven't ever grown a beard, you should, you should do so. You should try to grow it at least for three months. Don't touch it. Just let it grow out and then consider, you know, cleaning it up. But, you know, if you need any help with that, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I can direct you. I can give you some good advice. I can give you some good videos you can watch on how to do that, how to, how to maintain them. And um, yeah, it's having a beard is an experience. It teaches you a lot and it does garner you attention. Like you will stand out, but make sure you stand out in a good way and everything will be cool. I, I still, listen, I, there have been times, and I told you guys l recently that I thought about, um, I thought about, you know, shaving my beard off just for something different to do, right? Uh, but it's funny because there are women that have told me, no, please keep your beard. I like the long beard. I like the salt and pepper. And I found out that even growing older and, and whatnot, it hasn't really changed the way women treat me. Now, I have had a few women over the course of time that have been free to tell me they didn't like my beard. But here's the thing. Here's the thing you have to remember. A beard is a good filter. I don't mean a filter from dust and pollen and things like that, which it is, it is. Or I don't mean like a, a protection from the sun, which it is. But what I'm talking about is if a woman, if you're taking care of your beard, you actually take pride in it. It looks good, it smells good, it's clean. And a woman tells you, I don't like your beard or I don't like beards at all. Just say, thank you for telling me who you really are. That has made that has made my pursuit that much easier, okay? I mean, that's really how you have to look at it. Do you really want, do you really want people in your life? Do you really want women in your life who are, are going to be, who are gonna feel free to criticize every little thing and not allow you to play with uh, different looks and just, you know, this is something that's harmless. So if, some, if, if a woman approaches you and tells you something like that, and just say, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I know what I'm dealing with now. That means it's working. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, leave your thoughts down below. Click on the link I've left you. Use my code. And start taking care of your beard. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.